Hi everyone, this is a demonstration video of our 3D endless runner game called Run and Gun. Run and Gun was made in Unreal by a team of just designers who had to make all the mechanics and each of the levels within the game. Basic mechanics like pickups are included within the game, but we also wanted to work on our own mechanic called the target mechanic. This mechanic's main reference was Pistol Whip, a VR game which has to play with shooting enemies all around them. This coupled with uh, the endless runner mechanic of always moving forward means the player has to multitask between avoiding obstacles and shooting targets to get them more time, as if they were to run out of time, they would in a fail the level in the end. Sadly, because we were a team of just designers, we lacked in areas like main menu UI, which is what you see here. The three levels we are able to choose from are Iceland, Firelands and Grasslands, with the Icelands being my level that I worked on. As you can see when we load in, there's multiple areas for the player to head into, with the harder areas being guided by more pickups. These harder areas include more targets and more pickups, so that if the player is rewarded for going for the more difficult areas. As you saw then, one of the targets that I shot grants 5 seconds, so the green targets grant 5 seconds, the yellow, ta yellow targets grant 10 seconds, with the red targets granting 15 seconds. The overall score that the player gets at the end is a multiplication between the pickups that the player has earned and the time remaining, so each pickup is worth 1 value, with the time remaining being in seconds, so say 2 pickups times by 300 seconds is whatever map you want to do. So, as the level goes on, the player is slowly increasing in speed, and the sort of the pickups become more frequent to better guide the player and reward them for getting such further in the game, and also the targets become more frequent as well, so the player isn't running out of time. Players can miss targets and they won't fail the level, but missing too many targets means they will fail the level. So as you can see, as the level is going on, we're moving into different areas of the map. This map was mainly using a landscape tool, which was actually captured from the 3D satellite images that were found online. So the terrain within the level is actually from Wales, uh, but I doubt you'll be able to recognise that. So as we go on, the use of different assets breaks up the level so that players easily knows where they are and how far they are into the level. It's definitely getting faster now, and as you can see there's some different targets that we can get, and also many choices again for the player to go to. But we'll take the easy route in this occasion. Now, sadly this game isn't actually fully Endless Runners, endless, uh, endless, as we say, as there is an end to this level to better show off our level design. As you can see in this bridge area, we're using the main free lane system, which you see in most Endless Runners, and then we move into the cave system, which brings us close to the end of the level. As you can see in the top right, the more pickups we're collecting is scored, so that it's easy for the player to see how far they're getting in and how well they're doing. As you can see, it's getting really quick at the moment, so you have to space out the objects more to allow the player more time to jump and the added speed of the game. Some jumps are really difficult as well, which means the player has to go right on the edge, and in that case, I did in fact fail. So you can see our total score there of 8,313, which, as I said, is a multiplication of the coins collected, or the shards in this case, and also the time that we had remaining at the time of death. So. That was Running Gun, I really hope you enjoyed that, there'll be a link somewhere on the page to download the game, and thank you very much for watching.